your stylist, oh, your fit. Holly White, Holly White. Holly White, your fits are getting better Aren't and better. They? 12, please. I, I love that you're the only person I know at God knows what time in the morning is sitting in a corset and heel, the whole thing. You're just, do you love Feel these, sorry, feel these house off today. Oh, they're beautiful. Vegan are leather. You, <laughs> good. Are you loving getting to dress up and yes, have fun? Yes, it's everyone's dream, right? I feel like, beautiful lady, I, hi, hi, hi. I just feel like you are on this whirlwind. What's how many, going on? How many months of, oh yeah, I feel like 20... <gasps> It's, 23 it's started. It's been a minute, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, like, first of all, congratulations. Thank you. Are you getting used to all of this? No. <laughs> it's just like so exciting and amazing and like what on earth? I love this for you though. How earth? is the new baby boy doing? Oh, he's gorgeous. He? he just keeps getting better and better. Aww. He's like giggling away now and it's like my heart is going to explode. Phoebe just said to me, it is such a pleasure sitting with you guys, two other women on that stage. How did that moment feel for you? I mean, when you found out you're a BAFTA rising star, you've already had the Biffa moment and then this happens. It's just mental. I don't have the words. Like, obviously getting to sit next to Sophie and Phoebe as well is just incredible. I look up to them both so much. So just being amongst it all. And then the fact that it's BAFTA and the fact that it's rising star, it's like, what? And can we rewind a little bit? When we were at the Biffas, I missed the moment when um, Andrew Scott literally lifted you off the ground. Um, I mean, <laughs> literally, what a gorgeous human. Because he came and he was like, congratulations. And I just grabbed him and I was like, but, but you are the actor of our generation. And he like grabbed my hand and he was like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your peers and people you admire. Admire. Um, so has anyone much. blown your mind aside from Andrew Scott? Anybody else that's just like come out of their way to say, well done? Everyone. I mean, St Stephen Graham was here today and he kind of just came to us all just then to say, well done. And I'm just like, you're, but you're, you're Stephen Graham and you're incredible. And I just wanted to say to him, which I never got to say, but at the Biffers, his speech, like that alone, I was like, this is why I want to do it. So, yeah. This, this film is not going away. I feel like it's, it's, everybody has that defining moment in their career. They wet their bum off and then that moment happens and they're like, yes. Are you try I've got goosebumps. Are you oh. are you trying to live in it and and enjoy it? Yeah, definitely. And you know, it's been amazing because obviously having the baby at the same time, it's been really like I've been able to kind of be very aware that this life that's all of this is like I'm so lucky and so grateful to be a part of and then I get to go home and be mum as well, which I'm also so lucky to get to do. So it's like I'm really in each kind of version of my life, I'm looking at the other one and going, wow. The weird thing is, I was just saying to Phoebe, this is a bit of a competition, which is weird. Yeah. Because all the other awards, the jury decide. Yeah. I love the fact that the British yeah. public decide, which yeah, yeah. means sometimes whoever's got the biggest following, sometimes Jacob Alordi, I hate to say yeah. it. I mean, the girls on. are coming out for him. Yeah. Um, Phoebe says she's play. got Bridgerton. Well, I just text my sister as well. <laughs> like when I found out the no who the nominees were, because I only found out this morning, I text my sister, she's 16. She's like, oh my God, Jacob! Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, cool, you're voting for him, fine. <laughs> but, but what do you think about that part of it? Or are you like, look, I'm just glad that oh, I'm in it? Honestly, this is the win. This is the win. Um, like, getting recognised by BAFTA, what on earth? What's your BAFTA date? Again, I don't know. It's kind of a little fight that's going on at the moment. It's my mum's 50th, right? Like, literally today. So maybe that will be her birthday present. Who else is in the running over your mum? Well, my dad and then my partner. Oh, God. I'm sorry, mum has to go. Yeah, I know, love her. Yeah, I know, I know. The fact that you're even considering not taking her one. <laughs> Like, You're what? offended for her. I love it. What? <laughs> hey, listen, always a pleasure. And Jay. please keep enjoying it. And I can't wait to see what. I mean, I hope you're having loads of scripts coming your way, by the way. You are. Oh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> Stuff that we could potentially see this year? This year? Oh, this year, probably not. Maybe next year. Are you glad you didn't give up? I'm so glad I didn't give up. Never give up. 